Hey, hi, hello. <laughs> all right. So, oh, sorry I bumped you and now you're going all over the place. Um, this morning I spent, well, I made a 45 minute video, um, in which we did this collage, um, for my daily collage book. And when I was done, I was going to upload it and the video was gone. It was not there. So I've sat here for a little bit contemplating what to do. So here's what we're going to do. Because I really want you to see the way I do my daily collage. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to do it over again. I have several days that I'm behind. Um, we'll just uh, do one of those. And we'll just, uh, yeah, go from there. So, plus I have, well, I'll explain all this in a second. So let me show you. This is my daily collage book. I have not done the front cover yet. Right now it's just uh, this, like, really heavy, um, it's not cardstock. What is the name of for it? I, I, I can't think of it at the moment. But it is cardstock, but it's the really heavy stuff. Um, and then... The facing page is not done. Let me just tilt you a little bit. Sorry if I make you a little dizzy. Okay. So the way I do this is on this side, um, it's free collage. And I can do anything I want. The only requirements being that I put the prompts for the daily collage somewhere on this page and the date. So for January 1st, um, this is what I did, and I'll just show you real quick. Um, so the prompts for January 1st were paint. I've got paint there. Uh, something ugly. This snake isn't really ugly, but it's a snake, and I hate snakes, so I used it. A tool, um, a charm. It's right there. Um, a sticker. There are stickers kind of all over the place on here. And then something pink. Obviously, I have a great deal of pink. Um, for January 2nd, this was my free collage page. I have prayers. It looks like this little girl is praying. So I put her on there. Um, circle. There's kind of circles all over the place. White. I left some white space. Playing card. I've got right here. Emits heat as the star. And then wings. I put wings on my playing card. I'm just checking to make sure we're still recording. So I don't get any unpleasant surprises again. <laughs> um, again, my free collage page. <clears throat> Trash. Uh, this is a bubble gum wrapper. Poem I have tucked in here. Instructions. This says carry a bowl of water and go out to catch a bowl of moon. Um, royalty. Have on the card here. Planner related. I have a couple of planner stickers here. And white. I left white space again. Um, this is my free collage. And then I have recipe here. Royalty here. Printed. Uh, I used my 2023 motto, Create Joy, and printed it there. Um, vintage. I have her. Pastel. I have some pastel colors here. And blue kind of all over the place. This is my free collage page. Then I have fantasy. So I've got her uh, dictionary page is underneath. Um, quote, it says the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Begins with G. There are gemstones here. Um, zoo animal. I've got him and music. For January 6th, this is my free collage page. I have a pair of something. So I have these two little guys here. Um, pastel is my paper, which was Kool-Aid dyed. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coffee related. I have coffee dyed paper here. A poem. I did some blackout poetry right here. Um, and then a hat. There are hats on the two little guys. And fantasy I've got this little fairy picture. This is my free collage for January 7th. Um, over here I have label here. Um, vintage. I've got this car. Um, 
uh, I'm sorry, hair. I have the hair on the llama. Um, transportation. Again, I've got the car. Uh, hands. He's pointing here and circles kind of all over the place there. For January 8th, this is my free collage. Um, over here, I have a poem. Sorry. I have a poem here. Um, money related. It says 15 cents down here. Something red, something purple, hair. They all have hair. And then something sharp. I have this little safety pin sticker up here. Okay, so for January the 9th, I have not done my free collage yet. Um, so I just kind of have that paper clipped on there. But for fantasy, I have her. Um, for used envelope, it's right here, the business envelope. Uh, flag is right there. Coloring book page here. Lace down the side and starts with C. I have the cat. Now, um, after the 9th, I didn't do anything until we got to today. I did pull prompts every day, but I just didn't do the collage until we got to today, which is here. And what we did on camera that you will never get to see, unfortunately, is emits heat. We did the planet and moon thing. Um, photo, we've got him. Glitter, I have glitter washi going down the side. Coloring book, there's coloring book page under here. I'm so upset that you guys aren't going to get to see that video because I worked so hard on this. Travel, we have travel here. Um, and then foreign text right here. And I was saying in the other video that, um, you know, it's, it's always funny to me to put foreign text on something because I'm going, I have no idea what that says. It might say something totally inappropriate. Nah, I would never know. But that's okay. All right. So that was what we did. Oh, and my voice is cracking and um, my throat's like, you have done enough talking for one day, but we're going to do this anyway. Excuse me, I had to get a drink of water. So if I get really quiet, you guys will know it's because, yeah, my voice is cracking. So here's the other thing. I had um, shown you how I do, how I choose my collage prompts for the day. And since you're not going to get to see that video, what I'm going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to do yesterday's collage, but we're going to choose new prompts because I want you guys to see how I did it. So I'm going to take these prompts and I will just move those to another day. So that'll be fine. I will use those at another time. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this down a little bit because we are going to be using it in my free collage. So I want it to look kind of pretty. Um, so I'm going to tear it down some. So we have torn edges. Okay. Now, since this is the page that we'll be using in the collage, I will have to remove this safe or this paper clip and I'll just set that there and we will pull this out for right now I will just paper clip this on here until we come back to it all right I'm gonna move that off to the side I'm gonna make sure that we're still filming we appear to be I'll move that to the side. Now, the way I do this is I have this little game board um, that I created. And so for the first three months of the year, I will use this. So for throughout January, February, and March. In April, I'll have a new one and I'll do this every quarter. Um, so the way it works is I have these two dice. I have the pink and the blue. So for the pink, I will roll for this side and the blue, I will roll for this side. Whatever number I get on the pink, say I got a five. Well, let's just do it. Let's just try one. Okay, so I've got an 11 and a six. Okay, so pink is this side. So I'm gonna go down to the 11 
and blue is the top so I'm going to go down to the six so then my prompt would be lines okay I do that six times write those down and then those are my prompts for the day and since we already did lines let's just go ahead and put it on there okay let's see what else we get I have eight and eight so eight and eight is a fastener hmm, that one's interesting I haven't done that one before fastener hmm my mind is worrying trying to figure that one out all right let's see i've got one and four so that is a shoe hmm. okay lines fastener and shoe two and nine so two and nine is a doodle so far this is entirely doable Okay, 11 and 10, we've got a pair of something. Okay, a pair of something. Uh, that's five. Last one, four and three is something cute. Okay, I got some different prompts today that I haven't done, which is cool. <clears throat> All right. So that's the way my little prompt game works every day. Um, it should be every day. It hasn't been because, you know, like I said, I've fallen behind. Okay, so I'm going to go and find the things we need. I'll pause the video and I will be right back with you. Okay, I have a plan, and we appear to still be filming, so that's a good thing. However, my husband did just get up, and so um, I'm going to probably uh, do part of this and go see him and come back and do the rest. Um, maybe. Depends on what he's doing this morning. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and actually... Um, Wow, I said I was ready, didn't I? I was trying to decide if I want to cover this paper with anything. Like, or if I just want to leave it like it is. Um, I do have this paper that I've been using, you know, for all kinds of stuff we've done that I could just toss on there or even tear into pieces and kind of put it throughout. Let's see what that looks like. If I tear it, and then like, um, hope I don't regret this later. And <laughs> think, oh, I could have used that for something else. It's all right though. It's just paper, right? It's just paper. And I try to remind myself of that. Every time I do anything, it's just paper. If I mess up, it's okay. And really the great thing about collage and journaling and all of those things is that it's really hard to actually mess up, right? Um, because kind of the whole idea is for it to look... I don't know what the word I'm looking for. You guys know what I'm talking about. Vintagey, crazy, eclectic, um, whatever your style is, right? And so for me, kind of the more handcrafted and crazy it looks, the more I like it. I don't know if I like that, though. I'm trying to decide. I could kind of do that. Could maybe even put one on top. Kind of like that. Oh, 
Yes, I like that much better. Okay, all right. We can go with that. Maybe even like that. I've got one on top there and one on top there. Move that to the bottom and that to the top. And then have that there and that there. I do like that. Okay. And then I'm thinking that I'll take this card. And I might even glue those down as like tuck spots. And I wouldn't necessarily have to glue that card down. I could just slip it in there, right? Hmm. All right, um, okay, so let me move that to the side a little bit. I want to go ahead and first I want to prepare this for um, gluing. This is just a little bit glossy, so I'm just going to come in with some sandpaper I have and kind of sand it a little bit so that it'll hold the tape a little better. I'm um, not sorry, not the tape, the glue. Okay, let me make sure we're still filming. My husband brought me coffee. It is a good morning. Okay. Um, all right. So now I will take this. Huh. Now I tore up my paper that I've been gluing on. That's okay, though. I'm going to bring this over here. And I'll just use it for a few minutes. I tend not to be real picky about what I use to glue on. Um, so, okay, and we said we're going to do this one at the bottom. Okay, and then we want this one. at the top so how is everyone today i hope you're doing well i hope unlike me you have not had hours and hours and hours of of um what you thought was being productive only to find that you lost it all <laughs> um that's okay though i mean like I'm, I'm complaining but i'm not complaining complaining i'm just being silly i mean it was a little frustrating that's not a lie um I was <laughs> rather disturbed for a few minutes. Might have said a few choice words. But it's okay. It is all right. Okay. For these, because I want to use them kind of as tucks, we're probably going to use some wet glue there. All right. So for this... If you notice on this corner, it's kind of rough. Uh, it's not smooth cut like the other. Now what I'm trying to decide is if I want to rough up all the sides or if I want to trim this down and make it smooth. But I'm thinking I'm going to rough them up. So what I've got is just a pair of scissors. Even though this collage is going to be more cutesy than vintagey, um, I still, it's just the look I like. Um, so I'm going to do it. Okay. That makes me happy. All right, and so what I'm going to do here is before I go any further, I'm going to come in with my uh, Tim Holtz uh, vintage photo. I'm going to go around this a little bit. And 
if you're not an ink person that's okay you do not have to do anything like this if you do collage um i am an ink person though i do like to ink i didn't uh, for a long time i would watch people do all that inking and i'd be like why are you doing that but you know as you craft your tastes tend to change um or at least mine do and i've noticed from watching people's videos that the way that they do things tends to change so it seems like theirs does too so i am totally off camera doing this i am so sorry you guys have probably been sitting there going um i cannot see anything you're doing i apologize for that All right, so I'm going to take this. Actually, before I do that, um, I want to make some lines. So, I've been debating on how I want to do that. And I'm going to try a couple of things. I have used quarters before in the past to make the lines. And I really like the way that that turns out. Um, I could just use a pen and make lines straight with a ruler. Or I could try something totally different that would, might make a mess. And I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Um, What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's. Should we take a chance? All right, let me see. Where's my black ink? Guys, I cannot find anything this morning. It's one of those days. I would not be able to find my head if it was not attached to my body. Huh. I had my black ink. No, I'm not going to use that. Okay. <sighs> I'm talking to myself. I'm sorry. Um, I do have this little stamp and spot basic black don't know if it works well or not because I don't know that I've ever used it. Uh, it was in some stuff that I bought at a through Facebook marketplace. So the prompt just said lines, so this will work. Yeah, I'm recording, right? Yes, okay. Uh, not that I'm paranoid or anything, you understand, but... That one went totally crooked. <laughs> this is fun to do sometimes with like coins. If you get like a really inky um, ink pad um, and run the coins through it and then stretch them across. That's fun. I'll have to get something later and clean that up. Okay. All right. I like that. That'll work. So now we have our lines. Now we're ready to glue this down.
hope most of this has been in frame. Okay, so now I am going to get the wet glue and before I do that, I'll just ink up these torn edges. And then I'll go ink this one. Some glue over here. Just like that. Okay. A sip of my coffee. Now this should, of course it's not dry yet, but it should, I should be able to slip it in there. For right now I'm just going to set it right there. Um, okay, so then the other things that were on our list, we had lines. Um, we have a fastener, which I will do in just a minute. Shoe. Okay, so I have this book that I also saw on Gail Gastonelli's channel um, that I got off of Amazon, the Antiquarian Sticker Book, Bibliophilia. And I was looking, and they had, this is not it, I marked the page. Aha. Okay, so shoes. I also have to have a pair of something and something cute. So I like these two kittens. So I'm going to use those as my pair of something and kind of my something cute. And for my shoe, I'm going to use this one right here. So let me move this off to the side here. Well, I've got too much stuff on my desk. And it's a mess. I think I will put that shoe right there. Okay. And then, hopefully it will stay. And then for my kittens, for my kittens, Trying to find a place to stick stuff. My room is such a disaster. So my craft room slash office space. I'm always will clean this thing up or start cleaning it up. Sometimes I make a bigger mess when I start cleaning. Um, but sometimes... Um, I mean, almost all the time, I will start cleaning it up. It'll look great, 
and then I'll start crafting and it's shot. It's just done. Because I cannot. Some people are very neat when they do this. I am not one of those people. I cannot be neat when I craft. Just can't do it. I want to, but it's just hopeless. Okay. So this is what I've got so far. Okay. So lines for a fastener. Um, I have my little Tim Holtz tiny attacher and I like to do when I staple, I like to do three staples. It's just a thing. Um, I don't know why it's just a thing, but I'm going to do it there. And then I'm going to do it there. Should I do this side too? No, I think I'll leave it. Okay. So lines, fastener, um, a shoe, a doodle I need to do, a pair of something, and something cute. They are also cute. Should I add something else so that I have a separate something cute? I don't know. We'll get to that in a second. I need to find my pencil so I can do a doodle. And I am not an artist by any stretch of the imagination. So we're going to get something like a doodle. I can't find my pencil. Okay, it's all right. I'm just, I'm going to doodle and pen. We're just going to go for it and hope that it's not a total and complete disaster since I can't find my pen pencil. What should I doodle? <laughs> Let's just do some... Oh, it went right on that kitten. Poor kitten. Okay, well... <laughs> this is why I do not try to draw Should I leave it? Oh, I hate it. I'm going to leave it. We're going to call that a doodle. See, if I'd done it in pencil, I could have erased where it went over the little girl. But I didn't, so it is what it is it's fine because it's not even going to show see the doodle for the most part is not even going to show but we know it's there and you can see the top of that heart right there so now again the question becomes should I then put something else on here to be my something cute or do I just say my kittens meet that requirement. Sorry, I got very quiet. Um, I have to be getting ready for work 
here in a bit. I'm not looking forward to, well, I mean, I love my job. Don't get me wrong. It's just the getting up and going parts <laughs> that I don't look forward to. Um, it's one of those days where I'd really just rather stay home and craft all day. You know, I don't mind the way this is turning out at all. This is kind of cute. I like it. The colors make me happy. I would have liked it better if I had not done that doodle. <laughs> but I had to have one. So, I might add one more element maybe right there to add a cutesy thing. Um, let me see what I have in my bibliophile. Oh, or, or, or. Got this book right here, my Childcraft Annual Puzzle Book. Um, I wonder if there's something cute in here that's small enough. Mm. No. Hmm. He's cute, but he might be kind of a beast to cut out. Let's see. Um, okay, let's just go back to my sticker book. Because, you know, stickers are easy. And see, and this book is full of cute stuff. So let's just see what we see. Let's bring this up here so we can look. Is there something cute that will... Is there anything cute on that page? We've got those two little kittens there. We could do those as a pair of something and then say these are, are cute. And they're tiny. We've also got this adorable little girl. Actually, let's do her. Um, the only thing is that'll keep that from coming out. Do I really care? If that ever comes out, I mean, it's collage. It's not like I want it to come out, really. Let's just do it. Let's just go for it. We'll just put her there. Okay. What do you think of that? I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now what we need at this point is first I want to ink her a little bit because she's awfully light through there. Same with my kittens. Let's just give them a little bit of color. And the shoe. much bright white. Just dull it down a little. Much better. Much, much better. I like it. Okay. Now I want to go around the edges with my vintage photo just to give the edges a little color. I apologize if I've been off camera a lot. I'm trying real hard not to be. Um, but I know I've caught myself a few times. Now, um, because I covered up the uh, hole, I'm just going to flip this over and redo it. Move that back where it needs to be. 
So I just lined it up with the existing spot and repunched it. And now I'll turn that over. Oh, it went right over his cute little face, but that's all right. I don't mind. Um, and then I'm going to cover his little cute little face a little more because I'm going to use some hole reinforcers if I can find them. Oh, they're right there. Um, let's see. Let's just use my vintage photo. That one right there, and this one right here. It does kind of cover up half of his face, but again, that's okay. I could have put it under him, but then we would have been defeating the purpose because we've got to have that hole. Okay, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. There are a few things I probably would have done a little differently had I thought about it, but it turned out pretty cute. Pretty cute. Yeah, all right. So, where's my book? Oh, there it is. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put it here in its spot. Um, and then I'll have to do the free collage on the facing page, but that's okay, too. Um, this was the one we just did. Um, I need to do the free collage here, and then I'm going to paper clip this back on for the free collage for this one. So there we go. We've got her done. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully this video worked, and I will be uploading it shortly. I uh, hope you join me again tomorrow. Um, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, did I mess it up by punching the little kitty's face? Let me know and um, I will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.